Jim, just you've got you've got a good book of rides at Royal Ascot. Probably, I mean, the picker one could perhaps be Vatashi. He's a brilliant horse on his day. Um, what did you make of his run at Haydock um, in the Temple Stakes? Fantastic run. Um, obviously, I didn't ride him last year when he won it, um, and he sort of scraped home that day. And I thought this year he was really impressive. Um, I thought the horse was in good form. He looked he looked great, you know, before the race and everything like that. And uh, he won how you know, people expect him to win sometimes now. Um, um, the question mark at Ascot might be the stiff uphill finish. Charlie's talked about perhaps riding him a bit differently, getting a bit of cover and coming late. What's, what's your view on how things will pan out? Well, obviously, I don't know about trying to come late on him because he's, he's a very forward going horse, but he just if we can just try and take it off him a little bit to start. And to be fair, last year, that, that was the plan. We had Lady Aurelia next to me, Catchy, and, and, and Lady Aurelia missed the kick. Um, and he found himself in front. It wasn't through choice. I didn't set out to make the running on. But um, he was very quick from the stalls, found himself in front. I just felt he was probably there to be shot at. But uh, I think the horse is in better form this year going into Ascot. So, yeah, hopefully he can do the business. And what about his behaviour? Charlie thinks he's getting better every day. And like you said, he's pleased with how he looks in his coat. What's your view? Yeah, yeah, he's definitely was, he was good at, good at Haydock, much better. Um, and yeah, I've been happy with it. And then another couple of sprinters you've got in the Commonwealth Cup is Kadem and Jash. Are you, li- are you going to give Racing Post TV an exclusive? Which way are you leaning or, or what can you tell us about them two horses? Well, I'm going to s- have a sit on Jash tomorrow and come back and sit on um, Kadim on Friday. It's not an easy decision. Both of them very talented horses um, and I'll try and make the right decision, but it won't be easy. Uh, I think they're both in good form. Kadim looks particularly very well in himself at the moment. Um, I haven't sat on Jash for a while, so know a bit more tomorrow morning. Um, it's a filthy day in Lambourne. There's been a lot of rain in Britain. Would would ground for either change your mind or one way, or how, how do they like it, preferences? I, th- I think uh, Kadim would definitely handle cut. Um, Jash is a good moving horse, so he probably wouldn't want it too, too soft. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what the weather does, really. And... Um, Queen Anne, the first race in the meeting, Mustachio, the Lockinge winner. Did he surprise you in the Lockinge? I know Sir Michael always held him in high regard. He surprised me in the manner he won. Um, he didn't surprise me in, in winning. Um, he's a real tough sort of horse. And obviously Sir Michael had trained him for the race. He'd, had a, he'd gone there with a run under his belt. He'd ran very well. His race at Newmarket had worked out particularly well. I think five of them all come out and won group races afterwards. So... Uh, or listed races, so yeah, um, the mile the mile at Ascot should suit him very well. So we're hopeful of a good run. Yeah, and um, Ella Calm is a horse Mark Johnston has always adored, and um, it didn't quite work out in his three-year-old campaign, but he got back on track at Goodwood last time with a pleasing victory. It was good. Yes, he he, he really toughed it out nicely, and obviously he's a talented horse, and he was fourth in a, a Guineas. You know, and he had horses like Roaring Lion behind him, and. Obviously, uh, he's a talented horse, and he just lost his way. Things didn't go quite right for him, and he had a, uh, you know, a little bit of an injury last year, which he's recovered from. And uh, yeah, well, hopefully, he can run a big race in that. Looks, looks the right race for him as well. And so that's the Wolferton, the listed um, handicap mile two. Uh, he travelled really well at Goodwood, didn't he? He did, yes. And like I said, he looked like he got the mile and a quarter very well. We were all a bit unsure of his trip. Um, because he'd shown good speed over a mile, but he stayed really well. And Jim, so we mentioned him. Is there one out of, or anything else we've not mentioned? What's what's the pick of Jim Crowley's Royal Ascot rides for 2019? Well, I hopefully Tuesday will be a good day. Um, please God, obviously Batash has got to be the pick, and uh, you know, obviously Mustachio as well. Perfect. Thanks a lot.